Hello there, welcome to Meet Pride High School Online class. In this class, we are going to start a new chapter from 10th grade physics. Okay, but before introducing chapter, before this start starting the chapter, I want to explain these three different uh, figures. Okay, you see this pencil; it looks bent. As you see, it, uh, some portion is inside water, some portion is outside water. Means in air. So here it looks bent. Why it looks bent? And you see this one, it looks broken or refracted. It looks refracted. Okay, why this one looks refracted and this one looks bent or refracted? Okay, and you see here we have taken one uh, incident ray from sun. Let's assume this arrow is in. Uh, this arrow resembles one incident ray and strikes water surface after that when it passes into water then it changes its direction why these things happen these things happen because light has different speed in different medium in air it has a different medium in water it has a different medium so when the light passes from one medium to another medium it will bend okay that's why it one this one looks bent this one looks broken and this here you see direction has changed all these are because of this speed of light you see here speed of light in air is 300,000 km per second and in water it is different in glass it is different so because of this difference in speed they look like broken okay in normal case this light would follow this path okay this path but because of the second medium because of this water it has bent how much bent is your you see it has changed its direction with this much of deflection okay so we study this concept this concept of breaking or bent of light rays in physics it is known as refraction refraction means to break refract means to break okay now let's get started our new chapter that is refraction in Kisar okay basically the bending of light when it passes from one medium to another medium is called refraction okay as uh, you saw uh, different cases why it bends because uh, speed of light changes from medium to medium okay from one medium to another medium speed of light changes that's why the objects looks bent as you see here in this diagram let me explain this diagram uh, incident ray is coming from free space you see here it is air okay it's coming from air and strikes one interface interface means the surface between water and air Okay, it strikes after that it changes its direction in normal case uh, This is the direction. Okay, this is the direction in normal case but it It has changed its direction because of Change in the speed of light. Okay in water. You know it is less than in air speed of light is more in air than in water so we we conclude that whenever light ray passes from one rare medium one less dense medium to another more dense medium like this then it will bend towards the normal you know you know normal is a line which is perpendicular to the interface okay whenever light passes from uh, less dense medium to another more dense medium then this light will bend towards the normal now here uh, this angle theta 1 is known as incident angle the angle between incident ray and normal and this angle theta 2 the angle between normal and uh, this refracted ray is known as refracted angle okay incident angle refracted angle now let's come to this diagram whenever an incident ray comes from a more dense medium like water 
water is more dense as compared to air okay when it comes from a very dense medium and passes to another less dense medium or rare medium then it will bend away from the normal in normal case if it doesn't bend it it would follow this path right it will follow this path but because of change in speed of light because of change in speed of light it bends okay from its original direction it bends now it has been to this direction and this much of deflection is there from original direction here you see it bends away from the normal okay whenever incendiary comes from a dense medium and passes to a less dense medium then uh, refracted ray will bend away from the normal okay you see here this is incident angle and refracted angle okay these two cases are very important okay when uh, light passes from dense medium to a less dense medium then this refracted ray ray will bend towards the normal okay. next second case whenever light passes from a more dense medium like water to a rare medium like air then this refracted ray will bend away from the normal like this away from the normal here towards the normal okay now let's continue here one special case is dear dear students you see whenever instant ray is perpendicular to the surface okay then it will not bend it just passes second medium without any bend okay this is one special case now let's see these uh, two diagrams uh, see question number 10 example number 10 which path do the light rays follow it means that which path they will follow after refraction after passing to second medium okay you see here second medium here it is water and here it is air here it is glass here it is water now let's check see incidentally is coming from air you know in air speed of light is more and it passes to water water is a medium which is denser than air so here uh, speed of light is less if the speed of light is less then it will bend towards the normal you see this is normal then it will bend towards the normal like this maybe okay this is the part which uh, refractory will follow okay this is refractory this is incident angle this is refracted angle now let's see this one you see glass is more dense than water so speed of light is less in glass than in water you see here uh, speed of light in water is 225,000 km per second in water in glass you see in glass it is less than this so here uh, second medium is lesser than lesser dense than first medium first medium is more dense okay so how it will bend it will bend away from the normal the you see this uh, this is normal direction this is normal direction but because of change in speed of light it will move in a different direction it changes its direction it will move away from the normal okay here towards the normal it comes towards the normal here it moves away from the normal okay okay it's enough for today dear students in the next class we will talk about total internal reflection